So as we can see here on the 22nd of February, they said, Hey everyone, we've seen a lot of discussion in recent days about our decision to make Nightingale Online only at our early access release. We understand that this can be frustrating for a number of reasons. Our vision for the game since inception was to create an interconnected series of realms with the idea of allowing for cooperative ex exploration in mind. A universe bigger than a single realm or server. That meant we had a, er, uh, a choice early in development <clears throat> between supporting co-op from day one or focusing development on an offline mode. Cooperative gameplay associated with having party members cross multiple realms was technically was a more technically challenging problem and therefore the one we chose to tackle. Looking back on the decision, we misjudged that most of you were looking for in your experience. We're now prioritizing the development and developing an offline mode that we plan to release as soon as feasible. Keep in mind, keep an eye on our social channels and Discord for updates in the coming weeks. Alongside other things we're working on. Thank you to everyone who has stepped into the realm with us so far. The journey has begun, and we'll look forward to sharing it with you all, the Inflection team. So they announced, uh, I think it was the day before they put this announcement up, that they're going to have... Um, an offline mode for people because there's a lot of people complaining about it and uh, then they posted this known issues now this is something different so known issues under investigation we already released one patch this week, and we're working on a more sustain, or substantial update to resolve several issues and bugs that we've been tracking. As we continue to squash those pesky bugs internally, we've compiled several troubleshooting articles to help realm walkers navigate the mo more notable issues. So, crashes. These are being caused by a couple of hardware and software issues. A number of these can be solved with software updates for Windows and your graphics card or verifying your game files. If you're experiencing crashes, please search for the error message on our tech support knowledge base linked below. And if you continue to experience them, please send us a support ticket. I said I have uh, the link right here. Players not matching into the closest region. So I, I've heard a lot of people complaining about this. They're having like, you know, 2,000 ping when they're on a, our server. That's actually not intended. You're being matched to a region that's not closest to you. So they're saying, our servers auto match make users to the region with the lowest ping for them to at the time of spinning up a realm for the first time. For some region, whether it's ISPs, VPNs, or otherwise, some users were place into a much further region than they would expect. Even if later on their closest server had better ping, we are tackling this in two ways. We are opening up South American Oceania, Oceania servers this weekend. Keep an eye out on our socials for when they're live. Please note if your realm is already placed on a different server, you will need to start a new one to be put into these new server regions. In the next patch, players will see what region our server recommends based on ping when in the character creator and you'll be able to override this and force it to place you in the region of your choice please note that these settings will not apply if you visit a friend's realm or in a different region or in the watch so if you guys are having trouble with your game i recommend uh starting a new game when this patch comes out i think it probably is out by the time of the link in this video Um, because this is the weekend, that's Saturday. Network errors. These can present themselves in a few ways, and if you're experiencing these, please check out this article for troubleshooting tips. And if they don't solve the problem, please send a support ticket for further assistance. Okay. And they said that this is another known issue. Swamp portal is not loading. For some players, after defeating the bound in the swamp tutorial realm, the portal does not open. Our team is investigating why this is happening, and we'll, add, we'll be adding more logging into the patch to try to track down this elusive issue. If this happens to you, please check the following article and submit a ticket so we can document this error. 
dying or disconnecting in tutorial realms. This can cause the player's character to be in a bad state, crashing network errors, etc. This seems to be related to the issue above. So we're hoping the extra log information will track this down. For now, it seems to you, please submit the player logs and a ticket so we, we can track how many users this is affecting and provide you with updates as soon as possible. I'll leave a link to this article in the video for you guys. <clears throat> because there's so many links in this one article that I wouldn't be able to put them on my description and make it look uh, good. So it says hot bar, all shovel icons. This is a visual blog and doesn't actually replace your items with shovels, thankfully. Mouse over to items to reveal the true items. Our team is working on a fix and we'll provide an update when it's patched. So there's an infinite essence exploit, guys. And it's bad because this is an online game. But it's not PvP, so. Savvy users have discovered that you could buy water for less essence than you sell it back for. This will be fixed in the next patch. And a default graphics setting being set to Ultra. For some users, their settings are automatically placing them in higher settings than their system can handle. And can occasionally cause crashes before they can get to the settings to change it down. We're working on some work around and more permanent fixes for this issue. But in the meantime, please visit Zendesk and submit a support ticket with your DXD Diag info. How to find this information. Okay, so... I know one thing, if you guys are stuck with your graphics on like Ultra Say and you can't turn it down, just bring up your NVIDIA or AMD or, or Intel and click on the game and turn it down. For me, it's already turned down. <clears throat> Okay, Twitch Drops. I've got a few questions regarding Twitch Drops and have prepared additional articles for them in the link below. These include things like issues with the authenticating site saying, authentication site saying you don't own the game, accidentally extracting your outfit pieces, and how to get to this, how to get your distinguished doc to link your, or link there to link your accounts and other FAQs. See here. And then they have a little article about feedback. If you've got any additional feedback or a great idea for Nightingale, please head over to our sleek pan board. Please use search function to check whether your idea has been mentioned and then upload it. Have a technical issue you need help? Check out our troubleshooting. So yeah, they, uh, they're they working on the game. They're making an offline mode. You know about a bunch of known issues. And if you're having trouble with ping, I would suggest clicking on a link that I put in the description below, going through that article and, and starting a new character if you have to, or starting a new realm at least. And thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.